I spy with my little eye? A guest with a hard suitcase. God, she's got a nerve, hasn't she? Um, yeah, if you could just chuck it in the ocean, that would be great. Our lovely neighbour Laura from SV Rhapsody was fostering some kittens before they grow big enough to make the transit to their new home in Canada. It's actually a common thing for boaties to do. Aww. They like to kiss. <sighs> so cute! Brand new! What's that Neville? Go Tiger! Ooh. Our friends were keen to get on the water straight away. So we took them on a mellow shakedown cruise to get them their sea legs. So we got our friends on board <laughs> and we're very happy. But these two, Mike and Chrissy, they've been on board before. They came and joined us in the Caribbean and we did a lot with them. We sailed, we, co we covered some ground. We sailed from St. Lucia to Antigua. Hey, I'm Christy. I know Xanthi and Jackson or Jancy and Xanthan as I sometimes call them. Xanthan and Jaxi. Xanthan and Jaxi. See, I even mix it up. Yeah. I got to have the pleasure of camping next to Xanthi at Blue... No, not Blue's Fest. What was it? Falls Fest. The less classy festival environment. And ever since I've been addicted to her adventurous spirit and good vibes. So here we are. And we miss them a lot, so we want them to come home already, but also keep living the adventure. Big pumice. What? Big pumice. Oh, pumice are Oh, wow. Yeah. Wow. Pumice. It's not pumice or weed. It's pumice. So I don't know if you guys watched last episode, last week's episode, but we were Jackson's mum and we fully sailed through the pumice raft and um, the, the, po the pumice raft. And the poetry of that is that she was freaking out when we were sailing from Tonga to Fiji she was like she she let us know that there was a pumice raft in our track and um, at the time it was really big and it was quite dangerous and threatening and we could have got stuck in it but it's really tiny now it's kind of there's lots of it but it's in tiny pieces so it's it's no longer a threat. Mike are you ready for a bit more sailing? I think I'm pretty prepared for some hardcore sailing on this trip my um, good mate at home Tom Spithill he's um, an excellent sailor he's a coach and he's been giving me a lot of pointers um, so, with his knowledge on board, I think, I think we're ready. Hang on. Not the sheet. No, 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 no. You do it back here, mate. Just a little catch up over dinner and an early night to get ready for some serious sailing the next day.
Oh no, he's back, you know. He's back, you know. You let him go? Yeah. yeah. I won't get the gas out then, hey. Alright, what are we doing now? Did I get out? Whoa, whoa. He's off. Oh, no. I know. That just came up like there. I know. Dude, <laughs> I'm oh, my, my hand God. on it. Just here. Damn. Amazing day out sailing today. Downwind sail to the Mamanuka group. We don't know which island of the Mamanuka group. They're all gorgeous. So we're just going to kind of tuck into which one looks nice. Drilled in. Biggest fish we've had on Avalon in weeks. Yeah, Mike's been really keen to get fishing. Uh, he was he was pretty fish happy last time he was here in the Caribbean, and we caught some crackers. We caught our first Spanish mackerel, and uh, yeah, he, he got his wish, but his barracuda, so we just chucked him back. And um, yeah, the plan is there is no plan. We're just going to go for a lovely little sail and see what we find. It's a really good day. This is us for the day. This island is called Monu Island. Uh, we've actually taken you to the island over there. That's um, Castaway Island. It's where Castaway was filmed. We left Avalon over there. Really awesome and serene here. We've got the whole place to ourselves. I don't know why any other boats haven't come here, but we're not complaining about that. Yeah, we just thought we'd run back to Avalon and actually and get some fish and have a good old little beach fire and just make a day of it really. Nice to do it with friends. So I thought I'd go and do a good thing for everyone. I went and got us some food. I went and got us a wahoo. So one thing I forgot. The grill. So now I'm thinking a bit of a little bit of a wahoo marshmallow. It was a bit touch and go coming back and forth over there to the other one. A little outboard's starting to play up. So we could rest the eggplant or the fish in here and use it as a tray. Fish on a stick, what's the synopsis? So good. Bit of sand on this bit. Wahoo on a stick. Hell yeah. It's actually so delicious. Well, that place was going to be hard to beat, but we were up for the challenge. <laughs> Inception. So we're just on our way back to Musket Cove. We're just going to do a little bit of an island hop along the way. But we thought we might stop off and scope out this little uh, sand spit here. And it looks absolutely unreal. It even looks like there's a nice little protected uh, anchorage in there for us. It looks sandy. And then there's this epic outer reef. I mean, right here it's 30 meters, so it should be quite a cool little drop off, I reckon. Heaps of coral, heaps of fish, hopefully a few sharks. I do feel sorry for these poor souls on the island who thought they had it to themselves. Uh -huh. 
But we here. Um, hopefully they're up for some companionship. Some company. Some Friendly visitors. We don't even need to dive on the anchor because I don't know if you can see that, but we could see it go right to the bottom and grab. That's just that's just Anchorage 101. That's the pinnacle. Well, I'm working hard up here, just keeping an eye out on things, making sure we're not dragging anchor and whatnot. Just keeping an eye, making sure the island's not disappearing. And the girls. What are you guys doing down there? Hello. Hi. Just cooking up some lunch for the boys. Some mint. Wouldn't that be good? Or basil. Well, I was ready to do a bit more sailing. Good mate at home, uh, Tommy Spithill. He's a bit of an excellent. <laughs> <laughs> it's not easy. You're too Come guys. on, Mike. You're a better actor than that. Hey, Mike, can you put the main sheet on? That's good, yeah. Uh, no. 